what's up guys and welcome to part 3 of tutorial series on improving transcription using custom vocabulary with amazon transcribe in the previous tutorial we have created the custom vocabulary and that is what we will use in this tutorial so ideally in this tutorial i'm going to show you that how we can leverage the power of custom vocabulary of amazon transcribe to improve the transcription so ideally we will start with the very simple audio and we will use the list vocabulary to improve the transcription that we have created in the previous tutorial so here i have the recording so i have recorded the audio and it's of around 30 seconds and i have kept it short so that we can easily track the improvements or the changes with and without custom vocabulary right so i will provide the link of the audio in the video description as well as the actual transcription of the audio right so let's get started so first of all uh, we need to upload this audio file to an s3 bucket so i have created this s3 bucket that is custom vocab tutorial right so i'm going to upload that uh, mp3 file over here so upload now here we are going to do or perform two transcription that is one transcription without custom vocabulary and second transcription with custom vocabulary to see the improvements or changes uh, within the transcription quality. So navigate to Amazon Transcribe, click on left panel, click on transcription jobs, right? And say create job. Now you need to give the name of this job. I will say custom vocab without okay so maybe i will say without custom vocab right now we have language so within language i'm going to select english in that is india because uh, my accent is indian english so english in now within the input data we need to provide the s3 bucket uri of the file that we have just uploaded so it's going to be s3 colon double forward slash the bucket name that is custom vocab tutorial followed by the file name that is custom recording dot mp3 so copy and paste over here now format is optional audio sampling rate is also optional so i'm going to leave it blank now here we have an option for custom vocabulary that is again an optional so this is going to be without custom vocabulary so i'm going to leave it blank and within the output data the option remains as it is that is default and once you're done with the configuration click on create now as you can see the status is in progress now it will take some time to get the transcription ready so let's wait for it so now the transcription job has been completed successfully and the status has been changed to complete from in progress right so let's go ahead and uh, click on it and here within the tr transcription preview uh, we will be able to see the transcription so let me also show you side by side the actual transcription of that audio so here it is so it says hello everyone welcome to my channel singapore is in asia pacific looks good and that is also known as apac region so here uh, there is a change so I mean to say it was APAC and it recognized as APEC region, right? Then let's see uh, 
Gujaratis from Gujarat are everywhere. So here uh, it has transcribed to Gujarat. East from Gujarat are everywhere. And CIA stands for Central Intelligence Agency. And that's it. Thank you. So here uh, it has recognized a little bit different. That is and that said thank you. And finally thanks for being here and thanks for being here. So now uh, let's perform the second transcription uh, with our custom vocabulary. Right. So I'm going to copy this. So I, so I will edit this job name. I will say with custom vocab. Rest of the things remain as it is. Now within custom vocabulary, I'm going to select the custom vocabulary that we have created in the previous tutorial, right? So that is custom vocab list. And I will say create. So now again, it will take some time to complete the transcription job. So let's wait. Now the another transcription job is also completed, right? That is with custom vocab. So let's go ahead and open that. So here we have, let me also open the previous transcription job side by side so that we can compare the results. So it's without custom vocab. So here it is. So this is the transcription with custom vocabulary and this is the transcription without custom vocabulary, right? So let's have a look at the latest transcription that is without, sorry, that is with custom vocabulary. So hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Singapore is in Asia Pacific. So it has kept hyphen between in between Asia and Pacific. And that is also known as APAC region, right? So the custom vocabulary worked over here. That is APAC, even in terms of Asia Pacific, right? Then uh, we have Gujaratis, right? So in the earlier transcription, it was Gujarat comma East, right? That was incorrect. Now here uh, it's correct. That is Gujaratis from Gujarat are everywhere. And CIA stands for Central Intelligence Agency and rest of the things are same, right? So you can see the impact of uh, custom vocabulary, right? So, so it's not helping end to end or hundred percent, but it does improve the transcription or the quality of transcription, right? So this was the very simple example on how we can improve the transcription using custom vocabulary, right? So that's it for this tutorial, but in the next tutorial, uh, we will create another set of vocabulary that is using table format and maybe we will use different audio uh, that means different from this one that we have currently used in this example right so i will try to put in some uh, tough audio tough recording right with some noise with some background noise and all that right so we will see so that's it for now and as usual, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.